The St. Andrews Saints marching towards the field for the CESA football final. Anthony Leo and the Saints on their home turf facing Upper Canada College in the championship game on Tuesday. First possession for St. Andrews. This is Leo calling his own number and it's a gritty run from the Saints QB. He takes the ball to the 10 yard line. St. Andrews is looking to strike and a few plays later Leo going to the air and he hits Teague Tremaine for a Saints touchdown. That's a three yard pass. The Saints on the board first. It's 7 0. That it's a big play from the defense. Here comes Nathan Pahonich. He breaks through and brings down Charles Price. It's a sack for Pahonich. It stays 7 0. Later in the first, the Saints with possession at midfield. And it's a good run from Nick Belmonte. He picks up 11 yards and a first down. Good work there by Belmonte. But the Saints' possession ends on this play. It's a deep ball to the end zone. Michael Cowling is there and he picks it off. Cowling with an intercept. 7-0 Saints after the first. Second quarter, how about this catch and run by Rowan Binnendyke? He's got it at the 37, and he's battling for every yard. Binnendyke is dragging the defenders with him. Moments later, it's more from Binnendyke. He makes a beauty catch and fights his way to the three-yard line. That's two massive catches, getting the Saints in striking distance, and they cap off the drive with this play. It's a handoff to Nick Belmonte, and he won't be stopped. Belmonte Monty scores, giving St. Andrews a 16-point advantage. A few minutes later, more Saints offense. This is Anthony Leo scoring on a QB keeper. He punches it in from one yard out. It's 23-0 for the home side. Still in the second, the Saints once again with the ball. Leo is rolling right. He fires a laser to Jack Hudson, who runs in for a touchdown. What a play. 41 yards for a major. The Saints in control of 29-0, and they get another one before the Half is over. James Gillingham finding space, and he takes it to the end zone. It's 37-0 St. Andrews at the break. Third quarter back to the defense. Jack Bulmer and Hudson Shea combining for a sack. Everything going right, and this day belonging to the boys in red. The Saints celebrating as time expires. They bring home the title with a 37-8 victory in the championship game. Here is the trophy presentation. What a game and what a victory for St. Andrews. Our post-game comments begin with quarterback Anthony Leo. It's amazing. Like We started August 29th and we kept putting in work week after week after week. And um, I think that a lot of the guys just, just bought into the program um, and they did it really early and it was great to see. And we put in a lot of hard work just for this game right here and, and it really showed. Um, and it was a great game. Oh man, it means everything. Uh, I've only played football for a few years here, uh, but like the program's amazing. Uh, the coaching's unreal. Coach Leo, like everything's like a family here. Uh, we're with each other all the time, and it means everything just for these past few months, just to end it off like this. It means a lot. Um, we haven't won a CISA championship in 10 years, over a decade, so you know it really means a lot to me, especially my last year. Um, grade 13 year, so this means a lot. I mean, it's a very special place. Uh, I mean, we went through a few rough years in COVID, but this place kept going and bouncing back out of COVID. It's like a very special place. No one else does it like this place. You're going to leave as a champion, and they're going to come back five years from now when we invite them back as champions, and uh, they're going to give back to their community uh, that they, they, you know, they, 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 they were able to make this brotherhood that's going to last forever, and that's what we're all about. Um, so much more than just football here at St. Andrews. Uh, you know, we do a great job with our staff and our preparation and our scheme and our development offseason, but... St. Andrews has so much more to offer and you can see it on these kids' faces, the brotherhood they've developed and what they've been able to do in the classroom and extracurricular as well. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.